So when I think of time zone, I think of a cacophony of sound. Like lots of things happening at once. It's like sensory overload. It's like acid for children. Hey, I'm Matt Zero Furivani, writer, producer, and audio engineer. I'm here with Sydney Sounds. We're gonna go kick it at time zone today and make my very own sound for that. I chose time zone because it's timeless. No, that's a bad pun. I won't say that. Uh, <laughs> Let's go. It just means a lot to me. Growing up as a kid, I think in Western Sydney, like you can't go to the beach or anything like that. So you go to a shopping center and you spend all your coins at a time zone. So I can just remember the sounds and good times had there. I really just thought about like the array of sounds and just how crazy and creative that place like already is really. A lot of percussive noise, a lot of things dropping, bloops, blobs, wax, things like that, that are of sort of an interesting texture that I don't think you get many other places. Layered sounds as well, you know what I mean? Little sound bites too, you know, those little just, please insert your coins type things. Please insert your coins. You selected hard. Yellow play You know, especially building a drum rack, I think people don't even notice all the hitting of buttons or like pressing of pedals or, changing gears on a Daytona machine that all makes noise and those noises can be really cool. So I'm really looking forward to explore all the sounds that just happen that you don't even notice when you're just playing. So how I'm gonna go about capturing the sounds in time zone, first thing that I sort of thought about was Oh my God, are they gonna be playing like music really loudly in the background? Me being an audio engineer, I think like, you know, mic choice uh, just becomes like super important. So like, I wanna try and use mostly like shotgun mic, which is a super narrow polar pattern, so I can really focus in on sounds and it will naturally reject pretty much everything around that. That's half of the fun of, of making records. Pretty much you just make yourself problems that you have to overcome. So you just got, you gotta find out a way, you know what I mean? And you just gotta persevere and that's all that it is, you know what I mean? I'll do a bit of processing in the box to reduce the noise through EQ, noise reduction, and, and things like that, but you know, when you compress something and make a sample and you wanna compress the crap out of it, um, you're always gonna get noises, but you, you just gotta lean into that, you know what I mean? It is, it is what it is at the end of the day. But then when I get back, it's all gonna go into Ableton. Uh, I'm gonna sort through everything, edit everything down into its little snapshots and everything like that, and probably make some different variations, maybe layer a few things together and see if combinations of those work to put together a few drum racks uh, and a couple of like ambient noise soundscapes as well. In terms of Ableton, the, the, that program itself is just built for this exact purpose, just being able to mangle sounds and reverse things, granular synthesis, resample, warp, it's all there and really ready to just at your fingertips to go for it. I want to try and provide some clean sounds just for other people to, you know, sort of do their thing. And I like to, I like to keep an open slate, really. I like to just see what's presented with me and, and like how I make records, I just evaluate each decision I make on taste and, and see where I get to. I kind of pride myself in not having a genre. I like to work more traditionally as a producer where I like to work with artists and try and bring out what they are trying to capture and work my best within that. Yeah, I love all genres of music and, and anything I'm always down for. I don't think I've ever done a project quite like this one. The, the, the closest thing that I can feel like it's gonna be is when I've ever done like any post production work for like films. Making a, a tom sound out of a Powerade bottle or knocking a pen against a glass for a hi-hat sound. You know, I think those opportunities present themselves and it's cool. Sample packs are, are awesome. Let's put another one out of the internet.